Hey, welcome to my new tutorial. I've been making a heap lately, and um, I made one two days ago, I think, on a wireframe effect for Counter Strike videos. And I briefly explained in that one that you can add some effects to the wireframe to make it a bit better than just normal. And um, I got a few questions about like different effects, and some people asked for a tutorial on that. So um, here it is, I guess. Now I've got my two clips imported, one is wireframe and one is normal Counter-Strike footage. Um, if you don't know how to do this, get them both lined up perfectly and all of that. I've included a link to the tutorial I made in the description so you can check that one out. So now I'm going to show you how to do a few cool things with um, effects in Vegas and transitions. So the first one is the effect where it scans from left to right and this is really simple so say if you just wanted it to happen uh, here we'll just split the clip there and then we'll split it again here and then you want to click on your pan and crop so now down in the bottom left you'll see this option called mask tick that and then the pen tool should appear if not click it on the left here then you want to kind of create this box shape doesn't have to be exactly square, but the closer the better, I guess. And um, it's probably good enough for me right there. Then all we need to do is pretty much keyframe that from left to right. So just grab the whole thing, drag it off the screen to the left, um, click add keyframe, and then move your slider to however long you want it to take, so say a second and a bit there and then drag it all the way to the right so if we go through our footage here you can see it pretty much goes from left to right um, if you want to fix up these sharp edges that's easy just click your keyframes in the masking section and add some out feather we'll do about 10 and then go to the start one as well because you need to set up for both keyframes and now if we play that back, we go through it, you can see it's nice and smooth. And um, yeah, that's one way. So that's a kind of cool effect, I guess. Now the next way, we'll just go back to our default clips. Um, again, we'll split the clip there and split the clip up here somewhere. Um, the next one that I thought I would show you is it kind of starts at the gun here and it goes from the base of the gun up to the tip and then back um, this one's super easy to do all you need to do is pretty much make sure your wireframe layer is on top and then fade this layer in and then fade this layer out now all you need to do is go to your transitions tab here and grab linear wipe and then you can go uh, top down soft edge or whatever and then you want it to go from the base, so set the angle to 270 degrees, which is exact opposite of 90. And then apply the default one to the end clip. So now if we go through this, you can see it goes up the gun to the enemies, and then stays there for a sec, and then comes back down. Um, yeah, so there's that one. Um, we'll go back to our default again and then um, there's the one I showed you in the other tutorial so you can just uh, open your pen and crop here and then just pretty much um, go down to mask again pen tool and then mask out just your weapon and nothing else will then be wireframed except for that then you'll have to keyframe it when he shoots to adjust the position and the size so for example um, it's not going to be the same when he reloads. The top will be a bit cut off. Yep, and you can also combine masking with the other effects. So say if you want that um, linear wipe one, but you only want the gun to be wireframe and nothing else, um, just mask out your gun and nothing else on that layer will be able to be shown except for that. And then that'll be the only thing that turns wireframe. So um, yeah. And I'll just show you one more quick one, so you can add some video effects to your layer. So, we'll just um, mask out the gun here quickly. Alright, so say, um, I'll turn the quality up to best first one so it's easier to see. 
Um, a few things you can do, you can add, say, a glint. Uh, let's see if this works. You're pr it's pretty much um, you just playing around with different effects. So that one makes it kind of glow. Um, you can try and add some radial blur. But obviously turn the strength down. Uh, a few people were asking me how to change the color of just the wireframe. And um, I'm not 100% sure on how to do this, but if you just go to color correct to secondary, you can um, invert the color. Um, and play around these settings I guess but you can see it also affects some of the edges around here so I guess you could um, maybe mask really close to it but I'm not 100% sure exactly how to do it the best way so I can't really tell you that but um yeah so you can pretty much just play around with all different video effects and um, different transitions and figure out some cool things for yourself so I um, hope this helped anyone who was wondering and again, thanks for watching my tutorial, feel free to leave any more suggestions or send them to me, and good luck editing your videos. Thanks.